Greetings. What I would say if I were Kamala Harris in tomorrow night's debate with Donald Trump. Uh, personally, I don't think that Donald Trump is a legitimate candidate. Uh, he violated the 14th Amendment, uh, is an insurrectionist, and should not even be allowed to be a presidential candidate. He tried to overthrow democracy, and if he wins, he will overthrow democracy and convert the United States into a Putin-style dictatorship. He will end democracy. Um, he may come back and say, well, the Supreme Court uh, is on my side. And I would say, yes, through corruption, the U.S. Supreme Court has been thoroughly corrupted per Sheldon Whitehouse and ProPublica and bribes from the Federalist Society and other sources as exemplified by Clarence Thomas. So the uh, U.S. Supreme Court decisions allowing him to be on the ticket and saying he's immune from any criminal acts while president is a corrupt decision by a corrupted court uh, g guilty of receiving bribes as exemplified by uh, Jane Thomas, the wife of the U.S. Supreme Court Chief Justice Clarence, no, what is her name? I'm getting it wrong. Jane Roberts, wife of U.S. Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts, having received $10 million in payments from, in a conflict of interest, number one, from law firms that argue before her husband. So major law firms that argue cases in front of her husband paid her $10 million, uh, presumably for executive headhunting services uh, that, to, to find good law school graduates for those firms to hire, but they overpaid her by, they paid her $10 million for $3 million worth of services leading up to the corrupt Citizens United decision. So Donald Trump should not is not a legitimate candidate. He's trying to end democracy and destroy the United States. He's the greatest enemy the United States has ever had in our history. He's trying to end democracy. And quite honestly, uh, you know, you could just go downhill from there, and I, I don't even think it's worth going downhill. I would hammer this home. He is essentially a seditionist, guilty of all kinds of sedition-like crimes. He's guilty of uh, having stolen our most precious national security documents, left them unprotected for Russian spies to be able to photocopy easily. All you have to do is for a James Bond type spy to get work at Mar-a-Lago or be on the guest list you could just be a guest at Mar-a-Lago, go to the men's room, pull out your iPhone. No one ever knows that you've gotten our most important secrets about China, about Russia, about Cuba, uh, about countries the world over. Donald Trump uh, is a de facto traitor, giving away our secrets to other countries at Mar-a-Lago. Now, he can say that he didn't do it intentionally, but he did it. Uh, it just goes on from there, and and I would hammer this over and over, his various crimes. How many women has he alleged to have raped? Uh, um, but it's, it's, it's really the, the two major cases against him that... Um, um, Jack Smith is still trying to prosecute uh, the stolen national security documents and the uh, attempt to overthrow the United States democracy. He's, he's uh, the worst enemy, bar none, that the United States has ever faced. Maybe one could argue that, that the Confederate war was similar to him, and maybe there's some truth to that. But aside from that, <clears throat> um, 
Um, he's the greatest enemy in the entire, he's trying to end our democracy. At least the Confederacy wasn't trying to end democracy, right? Mm -hmm. 